What's up guys? I know I collect mostly Hot Wheels, but every now and then I do find some other manufacturers that make some fantastic cars. And how can you guys deny the full Ferrari race and play set from Barago? Now that Hot Wheels has lost their license to Ferrari, I could not pass this set up. I finally collected all 12 cars from this set and we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna open them up. We're gonna get a closer look at them. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, I know they're not Hot Wheels, and you know what? I'm not completely 100% committed to Hot Wheels because when some other manufacturers make some really cool cars, I really cannot pass them up and I pick them up. So we've got the Barago Ferrari race and play set, the complete 12 set. I finally put it together, been waiting to get all 12 cars from this set. And we know that Hot Wheels lost the license to Ferrari and Barago has it now. So let's just see how cool these cars are and how really well they are made. So first one we've got is the Ferrari 360 Challenge Stradali. So let's open this one up. So actually I'll show you the back of it first. So the back of it shows, there it is, all the cars on there. And I believe these are Walmart exclusive. I did get them all from Walmart. So uh, check your local Walmart out um, or you can get them online on eBay. Um, you just might pay a little bit more for them. I think they were selling for about uh, 7 to $9 US per car on eBay. I bought these for $4.95 Canadian each. Uh, all right, so 360 Challenge Strudel. Let's open it up. All right, I've been waiting to open these cars up to see just how they feel and how they look up close. Very well packaged. All right, there we go. And there it is. Let's get that closer look at it here so you guys can see. Gorgeous, gorgeous looking 360 Challenge Stradale. I'm not a big fan of how the wheels look on this car, but the stripe on that, oh, I just love the Challenge Stradale. It's such a great looking Ferrari. And there it is. And you can tell these are a little bit more plasticky made. Plastic on the bottom and it's all plastic. No metal for the car. But still a fantastic look to it. The proportions are correct and it is great looking. All right, let's get to the next car. We've got the Ferrari 458 Special. So the Special, oops, sorry guys, I'm hitting my camera here. I'll back right up so you guys can see a bit better. And uh, we'll get these ones to focus right on the cars there. There we go. Awesome, awesome for the 458 Special. Let's open this one up and we'll get a closer look at this one as well. Ooh, this one's being tough to open up here. All right, there it is. We'll get that open. There we go. Gorgeous looking Ferrari 458 Special. Look at that. Oh man, I love this one. One of my favorite cars. And one thing I will ask you guys, since we're on this one, of all of these cars, so I'll focus out there, there you guys can see the rest of them, and then we've got the two that we've already opened. Uh, which car would you guys want, if you guys could pick one of these cars in real life, which one would it be? So I'm gonna say, if you had to keep, you're not allowed to resell it or anything, you guys can't just say, I'll take the La Ferrari and resell it, um, but I'm gonna have to say that it is going Going to be the Ferrari 458 Special. I think it's just gonna, it's got the best of modern day driving and uh, just a great look to it. And it's got the new technology. I just love it. I think it's a fantastic looking car. Uh, all right, we'll put that down and we'll go on to the Ferrari 488. And there it is, the 488 GTB. Great looking to it. All right, let's open the 488 GTB. Get a closer look at it in a second here. Put the packaging aside. And let's 
get it all out and open so you guys can see first. So there we go. I'm just th throwing the packaging down so you guys can see these cars all up close and personal. And there it is, the Ferrari 488 GTB. Great look to the front of it. Look at that gorgeous look to it. And so far, so good. Proportions, very good. Uh, these slightly bigger than Hot Wheels cars. I think the skill on them is maybe, uh, maybe slightly bigger than the one in 64 skill ones. Uh, but I do like, I do like. Um, and you know what, actually here, I'm gonna make this a little bit better for you guys here so you guys, my camera is gonna focus a bit better. I'm gonna put these ones down so that we can get an up close and personal look at them. We don't have those in the background distracting you. Uh, all right, so we'll pick up the next one here. The next one we've got is the 488, or sorry, my bad, the 458 Spider. There it is. So let's open up so we can see the 458 Spider. Oh, put this packaging aside and very well packaged again in this plastic. Pull it out there. There we go. And there it is, the 458 Spider. Gorgeous looking Ferrari for a drop top car. And uh, the one thing that I didn't like when the 458 came out, I wasn't a huge fan of the front end, um, just right there, but I did really like it when they brought out the 458 Special. I like the improved front end on it. So as you guys can see, a little bit of an improvement on, on the front as well as the hood was uh, a lot nicer looking. All right, even though the engine's in the back, uh, I call it the hood though. But uh, there it is, 458 Italia Spider. All right, we'll put that one down. And next up we've got the Ferrari California T, the turbo Ferrari California. A lot of people made fun of the Ferrari California saying it's uh, a lady's car, it's not a real Ferrari, but the California T has rave reviews in real life and it's a fantastic car, very well respected. So it's definitely a real Ferrari. So let's open up the California T. And we'll see how that looks. I'll put this packaging aside again. There we go. And there is the California T. And this one is uh, like a slightly more like burgundy type color to it, but uh, it still does look fantastic. Great proportions. Again, can't complain. So, Brago, so far, I have to say you've done a good job. The cars do look good. They're very proportionate. The one biggest complaint I would have to say is uh, I don't like how the, the wheels sit. They kind of feel like they're cheap. They're not really in there. Um, and then, obviously, it's just, just too plasticky of a car. Um, and then I would have liked them to be the exact same size as a Hot Wheels so we can compare exactly. Um, although I will have a video coming up in the future that's going to have a comparison of the Hot Wheels version of these cars if they make them in the Hot Wheels. I don't have every single one of them in Hot Wheels. All right, next up we've got the Ferrari 430 Scuderia, the hardcore version of the Ferrari F430. And this one has the stripe on there. And let's open it up and get a closer look at it. There we go. Packaging aside, and we'll pop this one out. Again, very well packaged in there. Uh, probably made for you guys if you want to be more. Oh, 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 I'm dropping them. I'm dropping them. Um, sorry, if you guys want to be more collectible and have these as collector cars and keep them in the package, then yes, they are very well packaged and they look very nice in there. So um, I like opening them up because I like you guys to see them, as you guys know that. So there is the Ferrari 430 Scuderia. Silver stripe on it. Nice look to it. Um, you can tell still a little bit plasticky looking, but still very proportionate. All right, we'll put the 430 Scuderia down there. And next up we've got is, and actually I'm gonna angle my camera down so you guys can see a little bit better here. There we go. And uh, this one is the Ferrari F40 Competizione. There we go, and it's the nice competition Ferrari F40 for racing. And here, I'll zoom in a bit more here for you guys. And let's open this one. 
Oh, whoa, 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 there we go. Try and get this one out. Ooh, this one's tough to get out here. There it is. And then we'll pop it out of here. All right, there we go. So there is the F40. What do you guys think of the F40? It's gotta be one of your favorites. No? F40 Competizione. And again, you can see when I hold it just like that, you can see how the, the wheels kind of like hang down and it doesn't look particularly great when they hang down. They're maybe a little bit uh, too big of a wheel, too blingy for the car, especially the old F40, but still very nice looking. Looks great from the top at that angle right there. All right, we'll put the F40 down. And uh, next up, we've got the Ferrari F12 Berlinetta. And this one is the only white one in the series, um, although we do have a few other different colored ones, but this is the only white one. So let's open up the F12 Berlinetta. And we'll put the package aside there. And we'll open it up. There we go, throw that packaging aside. And there it is in the white. Looks very, very nice in the white. And uh, I don't know, for th these cars maybe just look good at this angle right here. I think it's a good way to kind of see the detail of it. And even from the side you can see as well. Uh, looks a little bit weird on the top right here with the window coming down. Kind of makes it look a bit different. Um, but still very good from the back. Very, very nice, very proportionate again. I know I keep saying that just because they, they are and and sometimes you get cars that even Hot Wheels makes that uh, don't look uh, exactly like what they should look like in real life. But these ones are great. The detail to them is fantastic. So far, so good. All right, 599 GTO, the hardcore. Bringing back the old GTO name to the 599. There is rumors also of the 488 GTO coming up. So you never know, guys. In the future, watch some news, car news. You might see a 488 GTO. All right, let's get this packaging down and out here. And this is car number eight, I believe. Car number eight or one second. No, maybe we're on car number nine. We are on car number nine. All right, there we go. 599 GTO and you can see the colored roof on there. Very GTO-esque and very nice from the side. And again, I would just replace these wheels, like just make them so they don't hang or look stupid. And, and I would just see, like if the, the wheels would stay just like that, where they kind of come up and they stay out, then it looks okay. But the way that they hang and stuff like that, not a big fan of that. Hot Wheels cars don't do that like this one does. Um, so there we go from the front. Again, that angle looking very, very nice. There we go. Fantastic, great look to it. All right, there we go. That's, uh, and then we got three more here. So we got the Ferrari F50. Oh, I love the F50, great looking. And this one is in yellow. So the only yellow car of the set. And let's open it on up. And we'll get a closer look at all of them once they're open as well, guys. So stay tuned. We've got them all side by side down here. We'll get a look at them. Put that packaging aside here. We'll get the pop out the yellow F50. There we go. And oh, the F50 is great. Oh, I love the look of the F50. Just look at that. F1 inspired and look at the F50. Oh, I used to actually, when I was younger, I used to draw the F50 just because from that angle right there, when you look at the lines of it, it's very, very cool looking and very easy to draw. Well, at least easy for me to draw. I wasn't a very good drawer, but I love drawing the Ferrari F50. Great looking car. There it is in that yellow form factor. All right, we'll put the F50 down. Then we've got the Enzo Ferrari and the Enzo Ferrari in the black color. So the only black colored car of this 12 set. So let's open up that black Ferrari Enzo. And I know they say all Ferraris should be red, but I don't agree with that. I think um, red, yellow, and black. Those would be my three picks for a Ferrari. Although if I did buy one in real life, it would probably still be red. Uh, there we go. 
there's the black Enzo. Enzo looks great in black and actually I do have an exact black Enzo in Hot Wheels and I will do a comparison video in the future coming up. There it is. Very, very nice. Great angles. And the black just makes it look more hardcore, more cool looking. And it's too bad they didn't have like some black wheels for these as well. That would be really cool. And even the Enzo signature on the back, as you can see, so great touch to it. Very, very nice. All right, put the Enzo down, and last but not least, we have got the Ferrari La Ferrari. There it is. Gorgeous looking Ferrari La Ferrari. Let's open this one up, get a closer look at it. All right, there it is. There is the Ferrari, La Ferrari. Black roof on it, great looking from the side, and a great look from the top as well. And again, I do have the exact Hot Wheels one of this one as well, so in the future we can do a comparison and see the differences. But this is just such fantastic detail to it. Great look, even the Ferrari logo on the back. Uh, nice detail, you can kind of see the engine through there as well. Very, very nice. All right, that's our last one, the Ferrari La Ferrari. All right, guys, and there it is. There is your Barago 12 car Ferrari set, and I'm quite impressed with the detail of these cars. I think they are very proportionate, they look accurate to what the real car would be. Um, there's not ones where you can say like the back is too small or the back is too big. They're all very well thought out, very computerized generated so they're accurate to the real Ferraris. The biggest complaint I would have is just they're too plasticky feeling. I like the metal feel of Hot Wheels and I really wish that they would make the wheels better on them so that they don't move back and forth, they stay really proportionate to the body on them and uh, then maybe just some of them the sizes of them are a little bit off as well so I would have liked to see that fixed as well but other than that I'm quite impressed with the Virago Ferrari set but I really wish that Mattel and Hot Wheels would just fight to get the license back to produce Ferraris again I know you guys want to see Ferraris from Hot Wheels again and so do I and Virago thanks a lot you did a great job on the cars but they're just not the cool Hot Wheels form factor. They're also a little bit too big as well. So uh, we'll have another upcoming video in the future Well, I will put the Hot Wheels version beside these cars. But until then, thanks a lot for watching this video and throw this video a like guys. I, I spent a lot of money to get this video together and it took me a lot of time to collect all these cars so I hope you appreciate it. Thanks a lot for watching. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye bye.